everyone and welcome back to Melbourne Railway Videos. I am here at the new Glenroy station, which is so cool. It's a lot bigger than I expected it to be. And yeah, there's quite a lot of activity going on. Lots of people have come out, construction workers, locals, despite it being a very cold day. And we're just waiting for the first train to arrive. It's this Craigie Burn service. That's in seven minutes. The line's been shut down for the last two weeks. Um, there have been replacement buses running, mostly to Essendon. For the first few days it was to Flemington Racecourse. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty short disruption relative to other level crossing removals. This is what it looks like um, towards Craigieburn. You can see that um, the tracks do this little S sort of thing um, that's to get them back onto the old alignment because the old alignment was off to the left over here um, and they do the same at the, on the other side so it looks like there's actually a bit of provision to extend this um, to accommodate high capacity trains if they ever run on the Craigie Burn line not sure if they will especially with the Extrapolis 2.0 trains but it's good that they've done that. All this extra space here and on the other side. There was a speech by the local member um, at the top as, as the station was opened. Uh, it, it was sort of, it felt quite impromptu. It probably wasn't, but it felt impromptu, so I couldn't quite pick it up. Um, but I was very happy because I was the very first person to touch on at Glenroy official passenger I'm sure they did tests but you know I was the first <laughs> I think something that initially impresses me about this station is the amount of shelter there is so there's a quite a large proportion I'd say almost a third of the station is underneath the big concourse um, which I'll take you up to after this first train comes but you know there are still shelters going a long way along either side which is really good and um, there seems to be plenty of space for passengers to wait so it should accommodate future growth. I'm not sure if you can hear that, it's pretty faint but the announcements have come up. The train should be here very soon. And here it comes, the very first train through the new Glenroy station that's officially in service. There have been tests. Looks like a comeng. Got another train coming through. 
This will be an out of service one. Five amps now to party for Craig Event Service. I did miss one of the first trains going through because um, I got interviewed by the level crossing people there for one of their videos. So stay tuned if you want to check out the website, you might see me. Anyway, 352 amps at the rear. It is very cold. And we've got the first city bound service coming. It's quite exciting seeing the train lines light up. Looks like another Comenge yet to have a steam insert go through. It's 668M. This was the train that actually ran the first um, service towards Craigieburn. Now it's coming back. So it's done the honours both ways. And we've got it departing now. And now it's just about up on the old alignment. And we've got another train arriving. I've stayed here for way too long, but that's all right. This is 542M, which is quite apt because one of the local buses here is the Route 542. It's very quiet. Quite a lot of people are getting off here, but I guess it is Glen Roy, so it's pretty busy.
we've got another train arriving. Finally made my way across to platform two. I'm a bit out of breath because didn't have a lot of time in between. first up um, and the cars can't quite use the road yet it's actually a bit of a maze to get into the station you've got to walk all the way around the construction site all right before I head off I'll give you a look around the station a proper look now that it's quietened down a bit and I've stopped talking to locals and the level crossing removal authority so you'll notice the proximity to Glenroy Road um, the station formerly used to be uh, located further to the north, so I would estimate that um, perhaps halfway down the platform, or maybe even two-thirds of the way down the platform this way, is where the old, um, the old platforms began. Probably two-thirds of the way, actually, because the, um, the building up there the concourse as it is at a location which is very close to where the old building actually was which is quite interesting how they've retained that location but yeah overall the platforms have been moved south and that has improved or will improve connectivity to um, the station they chose not to put in an entrance from Glenroy Road I I think it could have been possible to put in some steps or something like that, but not to be. So you can only access the station for uh, from this side. Well, that's okay. It's a pretty good spot, and it will be um, a lot easier to get into once they remove all the construction um, fences and all that. Seems to be plenty of benches for waiting, which is good. Those relatively new emergency help points. Uh, Plenty of destinations or oh, um, PIDs. You can see the new station signs that are being rolled out across the network with the corresponding colour to the line. Craigie Burn line has the orange colour. And I saw a drink bubbler. Yeah, there is a drink bubbler on either side, which is good. Always a big fan of them. Alright, I'll take you up to the top. Here's that drink bubbler I was talking about. I think, it'll, I think it's wet because of the rain rather than people actually using it. This is the way out of the station. You've got to walk up these steps or you can take the lifts which I'll show you in the moment. I really like the way it lights up on the side. I think that's a great addition to add a bit of colour. Well, it's not even colour, but you know, you know what I mean. Light. It's a bit late. <laughs> Yep, so this is the lift. There are actually two lifts on each platform, and the lifts are very spacious. You could probably fit, oh, I reckon you could easily fit 10 people in here. Yeah, it says max load of 27 people. And this is the concourse. So all the toilets are here. This is where you end up um, when you walk up the stairs from platform two. To look down. Plenty of bins around the station, that's a pretty mundane thing to point out, but it's good, it should help there. Help avoid litter. There are also plenty of ways to look down on the platforms from above. I'll show you the nicest spot in a moment. That gives you an overview of the platforms. There's the other lift, and this is the concourse area, which isn't quite done. You can see the fences on the left here. 
um, blocking off people being able to exit to the left. Yeah, so there are now barriers here at Glenroy. I'm not sure if they'll actually be used to block people from getting in, like if there'll be an activation, but it's good to have those capabilities. Um, there's actually a phone booth here, which is good. Um, customer service is located directly opposite the station in quite a spacious building. I'd, I'd imagine that PSO facilities are there as well. And then this is the way down to platform one. It's symmetrical, so yeah. And this is the waiting room. I'm not sure what that space there is for. Remains to be seen. Shows when all the services are coming and what I like the most is that it gives you this view over the two platforms directly above the tracks. Here's a look at the concourse from a different angle. You can sort of see just how big it is, like there's so much space. So this is what Glenroy looks like from the outside. It's very impressive, the structure. And I look forward to seeing it from the other side too when it opens up. There's this new roundabout that they put in here that never used to be here. And it looks like there's already some station parking, which is good for those who park at the station. There's a lot more to open up that will mostly be on the other side because the main car park used to be on this side, but a substantial portion of it has been removed to accommodate this new station. Um, this side of Glenroy is looking a bit dilapidated. It really needs a bit of um, gentrification, rejuvenation, whatever word you want to use. I don't think this has been in operation for a long time, whatever this used to be. That these are the new bus stops that have been put in. Don't think the bus are using them quite yet, but it'll be a nice connection, nice and close to the station, just like it used to be before the station was rebuilt. There's been a bit of inconvenience in the meantime. You've had to go to one of the roads. I don't know what it's called, but it's parallel to this one down that way, so it's a bit of a, a walk from the station. But otherwise, this is a good um, interchange. You can actually look down on the platform from above. It's a nice little touch that they haven't blocked it off. The landscaping here already looks really nice, especially that green grass. It's very neat and tidy. It's sort of a shame in a way that they couldn't find a way to put a deck over the top of this, um, but they're, they're not doing that for any of the trench stations. I guess it's too expensive. Glenroy from this angle. This is what it's like going over the old level crossing at the moment. You can see the still working on the road, um, walking over the tracks now. The former alignment is what I'm walking over right now. The tracks used to be along here. You can barely recognise it now. That was the way into Glenroy Station. Changed so much already. Whoop! Oh, I forgot to give this station a rating. It's my local station, so I'm biased, but this this gets a nine out of ten. It's not quite a ten out of ten because it's very difficult to beat Karen, but it's an excellent station. It's going to do so much for the area, so definitely deserves a nine out of ten. Okay, well that'll do it for tonight. So thanks for watching this video. Um, so excited that Glenroy's finally got an update and I'll see you in the next video.